Wow, one people, welcome to Kevo Kitchen again. Today I will be preparing pineapple chicken with me, um, Chef Kalani. What's up? Yeah, so this is our ingredients, people. One onion, two pieces of garlic, half of a red, orange, green bell pepper. And then we have here about eight sprigs of thyme. We have some chicken quarters. Um, we took the skin off of them, cut them up in different portions. This was about five pounds. We also used pineapple chunks in some heavy syrup. This is about two cans here, and then we also drained out the juice. Here we have some chicken and beef Maggie. We used about three tablespoons of the chicken, two of the beef, and then we also used one tablespoon of the cock seasoning. Here in this bowl, we all mixed everything up. We have the oil just for heating up the pan. All right. Yeah, I don't need too much oil. Then I'm gonna do the seasoning of the chicken. Mm -hmm. so, so I would say this is about one third of a cup of oil. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pour all this. As she said before, I mix all three of them together. So I'm gonna pour it over the chicken. Maybe not everything. And I'm gonna mix it. While I'm doing this, I'm waiting on the oil to get hot. The oil, the oil pan is about um, between a four and a five. I say four and a five, four and a six. So people, as soon as this oil get hot enough, then we will be right back with you all. You're gonna want your pot to be heating up between a six and an eight by the medium high. Wow. So now, um, you're gonna fry your chicken like five minutes on each side until it's golden brown. Well, we're just gonna put the wording on it for this thing. Brown the chicken until it's golden brown. Yeah. Okay, so you want to make sure you brown all sides of the chicken because you want to start building up that flavor. You want it to be encrusted in the skin of the chicken. I said skin. Mind you, we pulled the skin off already, but you know what I mean. Just get that flavor going. Make sure you brown all sides of the chicken, okay? Don't burn it. Just brown it. it was after we browned the chicken, we left some browning in there, but we did drain some oil out of there. Um, we put the chicken aside. So there's about two tablespoons of oil left over. We're about to go ahead and put the chicken back into the pot. Okay, so for this portion of the video, we're just pouring the juices um, from the bowl that the chicken was sat in after it had got brown. Also, you want to take the remaining juices from the same container that you seasoned your chicken in and pour it in the pot as well. And then, with that being said, after that, mm. you pour your pineapple juice. And let it simmer down for around 10. Oh. Mm -hmm. to 15 minutes after the pineapple juice has been poured inside we're going to turn the heat up to about an eight um, I'm just gonna let it start boiling and you're gonna bring it back down to a simmer but we also added about a cup of hot water into there you don't want to mess up the temperature also you want to put enough liquid to where it halfway covers up the chicken you're gonna want to place the lid back over and go ahead and let it simmer out so you always lift the cover like this, so the heat don't get in your face. 
smooth it smooth it that's the best side so now you're gonna add the pineapple I'm gonna add the pineapple And, and then the wooden spoon. And then you're gonna add the ingredients, the vegetables. You go with your time also. So what you're gonna do now, you're gonna just cover it and let it steam for 10 to 15 minutes again. Don't worry about the, 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 the vegetable on top. It's gonna steam once you cover it. So as you can see, I'm gonna mix Mix the, the vegetable in now and just let it steam for a little bit. And please, if you all have a bigger pot, can you? That would be better. We do have bigger pots, but we misjudge yes. the quantity. My heart in itself just misjudge. Yep. But it'll all come out good the same way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's going to taste so good. Mm -hmm. So now you see all vegetables sink in the gravy you now, in the juice. <laughs> We're going to cover it back and let it steam for another 15 minutes. All in all, it's been steaming for 15 minutes, so we want it to steam for a total of about um, 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. All right, so we're coming down to the finishing product. As you can see, he took the top off away from his face so to not burn or steam yourself, your hands, your face. You don't want that hurt. Ooh. So your vegetables, depending on how you like the texture to be, um, you want to make sure that you check for like tenderness or as you can see the onions they're pretty clear here translucent bell pepper is pretty cooked so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we don't want it to be all the way cooked out where you know what I mean you can't see the color because you know we like our pot look colorful, not just boring. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished product of the pineapple chicken. Um, an optional ingredient that you can add is ketchup. Um, that can sweeten it up a bit. You can thicken it up just a little bit as well and give it that color. But as you can see, all the ingredients are natural, no ketchup added. This has been made with love. Garnishing on the side with tomatoes and lettuce. Look at that rice and peas. Nice and juicy and colorful. All right, enjoy.